but what a season it's been in the Big 12 Conference this year. Five teams in the AP Top 25 tied with the SEC for the second most of any conference. Only the ACC has more. The top two teams, Iowa State and Texas, will square off this coming Wednesday. And we're joined now by the head coach of the Texas Longhorns, Vic Schaefer, two-time National Coach of the Year. Hey, Coach, midway through the season here right now, how, how would you describe the identity of your team? Well, I'm still learning it, quite frankly. Uh, we, we're, we were fairly good early. Uh, we've had issues just like everybody else dealing with sickness and, and um, you know, protocol. And so uh, that's really hindered, I think, our progress um, to date. Um, we, it's just the way it is, though. I mean, it's, 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 it's the way it is in today's college athletics, and so we have to make the best of it. We have seen your team play at a high level, wins over Stanford and, and Texas A&M validate that. When your team is playing well, what are you doing well? Uh, I think it starts for us. You know, we're, we're playing really hard defensively. We're locked in and we're not turning the ball over. Uh, we've had a real issue here in the last couple of weeks of turning the ball over. And uh, so we, 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 we took care of the ball a little bit better last night. Only had 13 turnovers. That's still a couple more than I like. But I think when we're playing well, Aliyah Matharu is scoring the ball for us. Uh, my point guard, who's a freshman, is doing a great job running our team. And, and it starts with our defensive presence. I think when we're locked in, we're really, we're really good defensively. You mentioned Aaliyah. This is her first year in a Texas uniform, but not the first time that you've coached her. You recruited her coached her for a year at Mississippi State. How, how would you describe her transition to Texas and the Big 12 on the whole? Uh, it's been good. I mean, it's, um, you know, getting back, us getting back together has been a lot of fun for me. Uh, she's everything that, that I thought she would be. She's so explosive, such a great kid. And, um, you know, again, uh, we need her to play well every night. Uh, we've got to have her locked in. Boy, last night she was really special both ends of the floor and um, so I think our team again we 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 play well when she's on the floor and again it you got to guard her I mean she can score at all three levels she's smart and heady with the ball and um, really just a really explosive offensive player you talked about COVID a bit look everyone's dealt with it but your team has in particular the, the postponements the cancellations I think about the game that you lost against Arizona and then the really quick turnaround to play San Diego. How, how would you say that your team has responded to those situations? Well, I think we've responded uh, well. I mean, some things are just out of your control. Our kids were devastatingly heartbroken not to get to play Arizona. Uh, we, had, we had a week of prep, and uh, obviously our kids were really excited about the challenge, and when they didn't get them, you know, no disrespect, but there was a little, I knew there'd be a little bit of a letdown. San Diego was outstanding. I thought they were special, well coached, came in, played their hearts out, and uh, it took a great effort from us to, to get the victory on a, what, about a 14-hour turnaround, really. We found out at 10, 1030, played them the next day at 230, so pretty quick turnaround. How do you suppose that, that sort of a situation, that, that super quick turnaround, not a lot of time to get ready, how will that prepare you for February and March and beyond? Yeah, it's going to get you ready because we're going to have it happen again. I mean, it's going to happen. And you just have to know it's going to happen and you have to adjust. And I think that's a sign of a good team that, that can adjust and can change gears in a hurry, take a one-day scouting report and, and go apply it and, and understand the importance of just really being locked in and, and learning on the fly a little bit. So, uh, And then, uh, as you know, you get to the NCAA tournament, you're playing in – Two games in three days you don't have a lot of time to prep and so it's uh it's really um, i think it gets ready no doubt about it well we do know that you can prep for the big one tuesday night you get number nine iowa state coach schaefer what are you hoping to learn about your team in that game well you're going to go into hilton coliseum it's one of the great college atmospheres college basketball in general uh, men or women and we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to play well. We're gonna find out a little bit more. I tell them all the time, every night. We're gonna find out a little bit about our team. Uh, last night was about toughness and being physical against a really 
good West Virginia team. You're going to go in and play a highly skilled, well-coached Iowa State team in front of 10,000 people. It's an incredible atmosphere. Great for college basketball, women's college basketball. And um, so we're, we'll, have to be, we'll have to be really, really tough uh, on, on Wednesday night. So, again, it, it, I'm still learning about my team, but I love my team. I love these kids. I love how hard they play for me. And um, I'm excited about the opportunity. I'm always excited. I get done with one game. I can't wait to see them play the next. So I'm excited about it. Well, Coach, if the message is to get hands in the passing lane, you got to point to this interview and show them the quick hands you had right there to fix the camera. <laughs> the phone fell, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> great recovery, Coach. Listen, we wish you guys great health and success the rest of the way. Vic Schaefer, thanks so much for the time today. Hey, appreciate it. Praise the Lord and hook them.